So what's up, y'all? It's LB, and this is LB's time. And y'all know what time it is. It's time to do those mods on the bike. Man, it's a cold, rainy night. Sometimes if you want to get ahead, you got to put that work in. So if you're new to this channel, show your boy a little bit of support, man, and hit that subscribe button. Because we're doing it, y'all. We're about to take this bike apart, put my touches on, and rebuild it. Before knowing that's how we've been raised Society is getting heavy, I can feel the weight The pressure of success is like a hundred million pounds of shit So y'all see it, I've been working hard on this bad boy Taking this thing apart Yep Taking this thing apart Now that's the part where I gotta take these batteries out. I wanna make sure I get a good picture of how they go back in. See that red wire on the top, orange, black in the corner, red over here. So the winter time caught up with us is here, man. You know what I'm saying? Tomorrow is supposed to be like, tomorrow supposed to be like, uh, maybe like 19 degrees. I definitely don't want to be out here working on this bike, you know, 19 degree weather. Another thing I got to do too is change this back tire. I got the new bigger, fatter tire right here. You see that? That sucker fat, man. Definitely going to ride better with that thing on. That thing on there. Definitely cool. All right. So. This is where the batteries go. Make sure I get a good, good picture of that. So I can hook them back up, right? This thing got like six batteries inside of it. Okay, y'all, so there's a screw on it here and, and this cable line right here. I already hooked that, took, I'm disconnected that. And uh, the side piece should come right out. All right, screw right here, just like that. You never took the sides off. That's what it looked like. All right, so I'm gonna sit that over here because these things are very delicate. <laughs> all right, get all my stuff together right there on the side. And this is what the bike is looking like now. She's getting stripped down. You can see everything now. So now back to these batteries. So I'm gonna mark it here, connect it with this piece to know I'll go right there. I'm going to mark this one to know it go on the top and then there's uh, three more batteries on the bottom and I'm going to mark those two. So somebody once asked me uh, the other day, they said, you know, why you always wear your mask in your video? I don't know, because I like to separate my YouTube life from my personal life. I'm definitely not trying to be no type of star on TV or anything like that. It's a hard working dude that's used to working hard for what I do and I, I don't want the fame, you know. I'll take the money, but I don't want the fame. I'm from the days where you gotta, you know, work hard for it, man. Hey, nobody in my family was born rich. We all work hard for what we want. You know what I'm saying? We go get it. I know in this time you're supposed to be popular and all that type of stuff, but you know what? I like filming. That's what I do. I like making my videos. It's cool, you know what I'm saying, to share this content with y'all. I do have a story to tell, you know what I'm saying? And um, I want to share it with the people that, you know, fill them up what I do but you know what the real people that work hard I definitely understand what I'm talking about but me personally I just want to have my private life and I want to have my YouTube life so hopefully I could keep my YouTube life and uh, help some people along the way you know what I mean now let's get back to this bike though all right it's, uh, it's starting to get cold and it's gonna be colder tomorrow so the next step here let me see if I can put the light to show y'all let me see we got, I don't know if y'all, let me see if y'all can see that. Well, we got three more screws right there. You see that? That's one right there to the left, one in the middle, and one on the top part. It's hard to get a good look at it, but that's the screws to take this piece off right here. Take this piece off right here. All right, and uh, let's get at it. So you're taking the batteries off, this piece right here pops up like this. 
night. Let me see. This piece pops up like that. And there's a screw underneath here. Just like this one. Alright. That's how you take them off. I'm just gonna make sure I mark them so I know exactly where they go. Sometimes you gotta just put the work in. You know what I'm saying? Get your hands dirty and knock this out. But I think I can handle it. No big deal. You know what I'm saying? Always just good with my hands. You know what I'm saying? You can ask any girl who I dated. <laughs> Alright, never no, scratch that. Oh y'all, so yo, it's the next day. I'm thinking about putting, instead of painting the uh the bike, putting a wrap on it. You know what I'm saying? So if I ever try to sell it or anything, I can put it back to the original form it is. I think I know a place that do wraps and stuff like that. So I'm gonna head out and see if um I can get a good price and see if I can get that done. You see y'all, I always like working on cars. You know what I'm saying? That's where my passion was at. And I caught the fever for motorcycles. And uh, you know I gotta put my own style on it. And it definitely feel good to have the Lex back out. But it sure is dirty, man. Yeah, I know this bad boy dirty. That's all right, she still feel good. Yeah. Whoa! See we'll pop the doors open right in the front of the street. That we feel good driving this bad boy. Feel nice. That boy got some kick. Need some gas in this thing. We need some gas in here. So I just pulled up to the gas station right here. I swear, man, I'm telling y'all, every time I bring this car out, every time I bring this car out, man, people uh, talking about the car. They love the car. And every time I bring it out, I get a new subscriber. It's like tradition or something. I don't care if you're young, old, people love the Lex, man. It's a great conversation piece. Doesn't matter how old you are, they love that car. To me, the new cars are cool, but the classics always win, man. Always something to talk about. Okay, y'all, let's head over to the store that do the wraps and see if they can get this thing done. So now we're here at the store where I'm gonna get the wrap done on the bike. Yeah, so this is the place. They do the automatic starts. The Lex right there. Looks like I'm gonna have to figure out something else, y'all. They don't no longer do wraps there. Gotta figure out another store or see if I can take it to somebody that can do their wrap for me. I can't get the wrap done, so I think I'm gonna take it to the car wash, get it cleaned up. First car wash, man. I usually do it by hand, but it's too damn cold out here, y'all. Too cold. Much better. All right, boss is all yours. Not too bad, not too bad. Let me get that. Beautiful. A little work in progress. All right. As y'all can see, I made it back to the house. I got the Lex in the garage. We're supposed to get a big, we're supposed to get a big snowstorm tonight. So I'm gonna pack this up. So all the work y'all see me do in my videos, that's out of pocket, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm not asking anybody for anything. It's just straight up hard work. I just wanted to show y'all what's going on with the bike. I'm still working on it, still on my ground. I definitely wanna thank all the subscribers that subscribe to the channel. Definitely appreciate y'all. I know you're always going for those channels, you know, people with the money, you know what I'm saying? I'm just a regular dude, working hard, doing my thing. Hope I answer a few questions in the video about where, why I wear my mask and stuff. And, um, you know what I'm saying? Just like that private life, y'all. I ain't trying to be no Hollywood star. I mean, I'm just me. I want to keep it that way. So I just want to show people that, you know, the money and everything is cool, but you don't always have to have a million dollars in the bank, man, to be happy in your life. You know what I'm saying? You always try to do the best you can. You always try to strive for the best. So don't let nobody tell you you're only successful because you have money. I don't believe that. 
know what I'm saying? Be successful when you're happy. And speaking of being happy, I'd like to give a big shout out to my little sister Joyce. She's always in my comment and she's always supporting my channel. And uh, she's about to get married, y'all. So I definitely wish them the best. And uh, your boy might even be in a wedding. All right, on that note, I'm gonna end it right here. And I'll see y'all next time on LB's Time. Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians.